That was a good episode, boys. Yeah, I loved it. One of my favorites. Patreon.com slash the official podcast. All right, Weekly I'm turning bonus my episodes. Off. <laughs> Re up your pledges if you want us to actually do episodes. <laughs> hey guys, hey guys, now that now that we're not recording because the episode just ended, how about we say some things that we would never say on an episode? No, I don't want to do that. Mm. <laughs> what yeah, are you, a pussy, do you really Jackson? Go down that path? Yeah, I'm a pussy. Oh. Jackson right. has played Jackbox with me. He knows what that's a can of yeah, worms. That's a, that's a dangerous situation you're putting yourself into, Andrew. <laughs> give me a, <laughs> give me a sneak <laughs> break then. Give me, a, give me a sneak peek. <laughs> there's, there's no sneak peeks that are safe enough for the internet. God. Does Kaya just sling racial slurs everywhere when he's off the air? <laughs> like, I wish. <laughs> after, seeing, <laughs> after seeing what that entailed, that would be a... Good lord. <laughs> that would be a, a nice situation. <laughs> anyway. Well, you know, Jackson, what the beautiful part is of living in a you know, mostly non-English speaking country is I can wear all of those shirts outside. Yeah, no one would know. Did you actually buy any of the shirts <laughs> that uh, we made that fateful day? Uh, no, not that day. I have a tab uh, open, though, someplace, so I, I will. But currently, the only one I own is a Ginger Lives Matter shirt. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, I might buy the one you drew, Jackson, just to be cute about it. Are you still able to? It's been, it's been like a month. Yeah, they give you a permanent link. No, fair enough. I'll expose right, well, you as the Wait, wait, wait. We should probably just actually... Uh, it, well, no, I'm not. I didn't say anything racist that entire game. I sat in silence. I want everyone to know. <laughs> I abstained. Uh, hello, everyone. Welcome to this week's episode of the official podcast. Jackson, Andrew, Charlie, and Kaya here. We kind of threw you in the deep end there with... Um, with with that kind of topic introduction, I'm sorry to those of you who are new here uh, for that display. We're not normally like that. Go watch the previous 213 episodes to get a better feel for what we're like. We're very professional usually. Mm hmm. Extremely professional. That comes yeah. with no guarantees, by the way. We've got a um, script okay, and a so formula. We stick to it rigidly. We never deviate. We love our topics. We love having topics ready to go. We love. Do you have one, Jackson? No. <laughs> no. I don't uh, have one. Char Charlie, yeah, Charlie yeah. did I tell think me you that could he had talk one. About one. I was just reading. This okay. is a current event thing too. We don't have to get into the event, but I read that a guy died when he tasered his balls. Is this like a true confirmed story? Like when they stormed the Capitol building, he accidentally tasered his balls until he had a heart attack. Sounds like I, something I, someone would do for views. Well, no, no, it's it not for accident. views. Apparently, he accidentally tasered himself in the nutsack, and that gave him a heart attack. I'm not sure. See, that's the, the, I, I also saw that headline, Charlie, but it doesn't make sense to me how how that could possibly happen. So I wonder if he just had a heart attack, and that's how the narrative is framed online to make it goofy and There's comical. There's so many uh, articles talking about it, though. Hmm. I just so, don't see how it's fucking possible. Yeah, I don't know. Give either. yourself a heart attack through the nutsack. So far, it's, no one has confirmed that it actually happened. Can't, well, the, I mean, can tasers give you heart people? attacks, even if you just get regularly tased? Uh, There's a small chance, isn't there? It I is electricity so. coursing through your body, right? Mm. But electricity is good for the human being, spirit, right? That's I don't think it's good for your balls. <laughs> yeah, that's that's <laughs> you what I mean. I tapped in the balls, let alone tased in them. <laughs> oh, I saw the I saw the best uh, uh, gif the other day, Kaya, that made me immediately think of you. It's just this guy laying on the floor with his cock hanging out on a wooden board, and a woman is just jumping up and down on his cock like a trampoline. <laughs> and it, it, mm. <laughs> the noises that he makes are so fucking good. <laughs> Oh <laughs> uh, fuck! Can we put Good. the? Can, uh, we can't. Uh, I I wonder if we can censor that and put it on screen right now. I kind of really want to. There's no way you could have like what, what actual if we dick what, jumping. It, all right. Well, what if it's completely censored? Like we just blur it and play the audio. Would that Would that be okay? Because the audio is just so good. Like you can you can tell what's happening just by the audio. You know that's a man being stomped on. Is he like moaning in pleasure? Is he like it, ow? Ooh ooh, ooh <laughs> ow. I'll, I'll let you decide here. Um, so to this day, I still am always confused if those are fake. Like the pain Olympics or whatever they're called, where they the B drive B B nails in their balls. Like, 
Yeah, the BME Pain Sorry. Olympics was fake. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, there but you there go. are so I, many videos of this there. shit online. There's like monks out there someplace training their balls to get kicked in, and I, I just don't get how you can get to that level. I really As hope that was the right link. personally abused his balls, but never to that degree. This immediately made me think of you, though, Kaya. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Very kind of you. <laughs> yes. I don't know how you can be that accurate to not ah, fucking... God, I don't... <laughs> how, how you can, Look like, uh, avoid jumping on the testicles, though, because they're right there. And if you land on them, they, they'd explode, surely. Yeah, probably. Mm. Anyway, we've, we actually... Like uh, upon, that. upon opening that link again, though, I don't think we can uh, show that we might get DMCA'd. <laughs> maybe so just maybe just like completely blur the right half and then keep the left half regular so you can see his legs twitching every time she lands on his cock. <laughs> That's how my only watching that. How I, I I don't understand what kind of enjoyment you get from that at all. The pain, Jackson. But the pain yeah. isn't enjoyable when, uh, what, like when it's that severe. Could you see his cock was purple? It looked like it was gonna fall <laughs> off. Then it just might, goddammit, if he's lucky enough. That's so hot. I wonder if I wonder if their brains are just misfiring and they take pain as pleasure. It's gotta be some kind of childhood um situation that has led them to be so fixated on one fetish that you go that deep into it. No, I mean it's possible. We've talked about fetishes before. People have no limits with those things, so Actually, now that yeah, you I mentioned did. that, I, I see this as entirely possible. Hmm. It makes sense now. So anyway, yeah, the, uh, I, I maybe he tasted his balls for fun and then had a heart attack. So I read it. To he wrap did, it around. The guy did die of a heart attack, but apparently the tasering of his balls isn't confirmed. See, so that's what I was saying. Like, it, it sounds okay, like that was just, just added into articles yeah. to, to make them People making goofy. shit up. Yeah. On, like, yeah. Paul. I was like, yeah, I, I, let's just come up with a funny death cause for everyone that died. His and yeah, he was said, eaten by vultures, I saw it. Yeah, his family said that he had a history of, like, getting too excited. So when he went there, he <laughs> got too excited and had a heart attack, I guess. Don't know where the taser and balls <laughs> came from. <laughs> I, was like, I, don't, I don't know if that's cute or pathetic. It's like, he was so excited to finally loot a government building and loiter around inside like a loser he had a heart attack his whole life at like this point he got off the plane and <laughs> he's like oh my god chest. oh my god ah just like the photos <laughs> just convulses on the floor and then now his legacy of is that people talking shit about him saying that he tased his own balls that's yeah, the kind of misinformation I can get behind that. It's, it's really unlucky. <laughs> yeah. It was apparently started by just someone on Twitter. And his family didn't say he didn't taser his balls, though, for what it's worth. They just said he got too excited and died. Oh. Well, they probably believe it too, right? Because they're just hearing... Like, there's so many articles out there now yeah. saying that he did taser him in the balls. So I guess history is written by the survivors at this point. He did taser himself <laughs> in the balls because we have collectively yeah. decided that's true. True. A little yeah. celebratory tasing of the balls. <laughs> I mean, once you storm the capital, you know, where else is there to go in your life to feel any sort of jolt? You're gonna have to shock yourself in the nutsack. What a fucking idiot. Well, it's also kind of sad that he, he wasn't able to accomplish anything other than having a heart attack. <laughs> That's rough. <laughs> it's like passion for life wasted. That was my favorite yeah. part. All these men accomplished was they took a bunch of selfies and now they're all arrested. Now nice. They're all you could have done criminals. that at home. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's another part. Look, all the politics of it aside, you're not, you don't want to wear a mask because you don't think the virus is uh, real. Okay. That's one level of stupid. Committing a federal crime and still not hiding your face. That's a whole nother level of stupid right there. I don't know what they thought was going to happen. Let me just break into this place with my face fully visible. Did they Facial not recognition. Here's my mug. Did they not think they were going to be 
uh, prosecuted? So my guess is it's that same mentality of school children, like where if we all break the rules and yeah. go, go to recess <laughs> yeah. for extra time, they can't get us all. They can't tell Turns everyone. Out- yeah, they can't. That's true. But what yeah. they can do is get everyone who's on camera. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking idiots. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> or prosecute the ones that like became memes overnight, like the uh, <laughs> the one who stole the podium and such. If you if you're making that much of a ruckus and like uh, posing for candid photos, <laughs> then I, I assume you're going to be caught eventually. Didn't he try like selling sh- that podium? Yeah, on eBay. Well, I think again, so. that's just what the internet has led me to believe. I don't know oh. if anything is true. Yeah, what I do know, though, is that Getty Images took a photo of the guy. <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah. Via Getty. Watermarked their several. images. <laughs> via Getty is one via of the Getty. funniest goddamn things I've seen on the internet in a long time. <laughs> it's just so good. It, it, it's so good. It shows so you the mental acuity of the people internet. that we're dealing with for, you on for those of you media. out there for those of you out there who aren't caught up on what this whole thing is one of the rioters got his photo ta- photo taken by getty images the the stock photo the company. company so th- through through the social media publishing and postings of this photo eventually a news outlet a big one put out his photo and said via getty here's the photo of one of the rioters and like here's him doing some rioting shit and everyone thought that Via Getty meant his name and they were identifying him. <laughs> so there were all these posts. They were like, I don't know where this Via Getty is, but he needs to be punished. <laughs> we need to hunt down this Via Getty ASAP. <laughs> so like, what kind of name is Via Getty? It's yeah, not to, a name. To be fair, <laughs> it was an idiot. It was written kind of shittily, though. It was Via Getty, one of the rioters holding a podium. So it really did make it sound like they yeah. were trying to say his name. It was pretty shittily written. Yeah, yeah but Getty Images yeah. is pretty yeah, norm- fucking cute. To, yeah. to, give, to give them points, normally the uh, attribution is written at the end. So it would be like rioter holding sign. And then at the end, it like it'd say Via oh, Getty. In or in parentheses. parentheses. Yeah. Yeah. This, this is like um, immediately. At yeah. the start of a sentence. So it reminds me of the hacker known as 4chan. Yeah. yeah. It has like the similar levels of clueless. I think this one's far funnier though. Via Getty is so goddamn funny. It sounds like an Italian <laughs> mastermind <laughs> <laughs> of the Getty family. <laughs> he was hired to do a job. <laughs> it does sound like a Pixar character. That should just be his persona now. Once he gets out, you just tour as Via Getty with his podium as a prop. Ooh, Do stand up cool. or something. I'd follow that man around. This whole situation has been so fucking stupid to watch from the outside, but also has brought so many funny things, like the guy with the Dishonored logo. Someone in chat just posted oh, about that. Yeah. <laughs> Some guy had a Dishonored logo on his head, and they all thought it was Antifa, like an Antifa plant. <laughs> uh, so much fucking stupid shit. I love it. Who the fuck gets a dishonor tattoo? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Basement dwellers, that's who. <laughs> it's a kind of cool tattoo, though. That's really all this fair. was. Nice this was... This was a fucking cosplay siege. They were dressed up as superheroes and everything, and I swear to God, I feel like if Comic-Con and such weren't cancelled, this never would have happened. These people needed an outlet, and yeah. <laughs> they decided to just, as Charlie said, if we all do it, it'll be fun, guys. <laughs> and just broke in there. I also love how the politicians who, like, for months and months, egged on their own citizens who kill each other and burn their own neighborhoods, they finally drew the line at people breaking into their offices to take selfies. That's the fucking gigantic crime here where they finally initialize the CIA to hunt these people down and arrest them in their own homes for taking a selfie with a podium. Didn't they go on like uh, some people's emails or something and read like old emails or some shit like that? Uh, that's what another thing. So one of them posted a photo of himself at someone's desk. I think I don't know if it was Nancy Pelosi's desk or something. And the email. So the computer was wholly open, unlocked. You could read her emails and everything. And meanwhile, I'm just sitting there thinking... Congress white dick pics. If you're gonna prank these people, do it right, right? <laughs> Send everyone an asshole. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. Nancy Pelosi's Mass dick. Mass them. Live captured on it, camera. They apparently, they apparently have a security system, email chain system or whatever, where you can send an email to every computer at once. So do that, like emergency alert, big cock. <laughs> oh, what if they had access to like that doomsday protocol that overrides every TV and phone with a message? And did the dick pick through oh. that? That'd be fucking nuts. God 
They'd be my heroes. That's another thing I was reading through articles. People were actually worried that because they had access to Nancy Pelosi's like secretary's desk, that these people would have access to the nuclear launch codes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> like they just leave that shit on a post-it card on someone's desk. I love it. God, these people. Some They're fucking hillbilly laughers are able to send nukes from the White House. <laughs> I mean, the, the Capitol. It's so funny. Uh, I mean, yeah, I've, always, I've always believed like uh, a protest like this should be directed at the um, like the politicians. So it is nice to well, not nice. Yeah, no to see, shit. But, uh, they, That's what I'm saying. Protest should be focused at, like at politicians. This like is this, if they have actual like, good reasons to. So you know, so no one, you know, everyone, keep your censorship bone in your pants. We're not inciting violence here. But Jackson yeah, I think and it was I a stupid are just saying reason, that obviously. looting and breaking shit is bad. But if you have to loot and break shit, do it to politicians. Don't do it to each other. Don't do it to your mom and pop shop in your own neighborhood. You live there. For God's sake, don't do it to your fellow man. Go steal Nancy Pelosi's podium. <laughs> I mean, that man, if he's had a job in the last 30 years, he probably paid enough taxes to where he owns that lectern anyway. Yeah, that's his lectern. He was just reclaiming it. He went there with no political agenda. He just went to get his like. <laughs> Do you think he would have been no. caught if he was wearing a mask? I actually think he probably would have got away Do with I, it. Uh, yeah. yeah. I don't know. He would have had better odds. I'll tell you that much. Apparently, well, like, this could be misinformation again, but I think I read that he didn't even vote Trump. That he actually <laughs> might have just been there having fun. I mean, I think a lot of those people probably were. Uh, yeah, probably just sticking it to government mask, in general. For God's sake, if not if not for the sake of the virus, just for the sake of hiding your identity. These are the same kind of people who will always never stop correctly pointing out surveillance dystopias. But the second they run into the government apparatus itself, they're just bright, smiling grins. You know, take a photo, bro. Yeah, take a photo with me, bro. They were taking selfies with the security. It's no, like that's no. that's how you get caught. Not just that. The, the worst thing I saw was people actually like leaving leaving the Capitol building or whatever they call it and having interviews with like camera people and giving their addresses and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Like, you're making it as easy as possible. You're giving them your address. <laughs> so fucking dumb. I mean, it's not well, surprising that most of these people were fucking idiots, but whatever. Jackson. If we wanted to listen to those interviews, maybe hear their addresses in quality HD audio, do you have a device recommendation that could do that? Uh, yeah. Uh, how does Raycon sound, Andrew? Oh, Raycon sounds spectacular. Pristine. It will sound immaculate. It will sound wonderful. Whatever you're listening to, it doesn't even matter because with wireless buds from Raycon, it's going to sound Amazing. Raycon makes great sound accessible to everyone. Their wireless earbuds start at half the price of other premium audio brands. And if you think having white stems dangling out of your ears looks ridiculous, there's something you don't have to worry about when it comes to Raycon. They come in a range of stylish colors and are built with comfortable in-ear fits to look more discreet. They don't just look great. They will perform wherever you take them with six hours playtime, water and sweat resistant construction, and Bluetooth that pairs quickly, quickly and seamlessly. I almost said quicklessly. That's not a word. That doesn't make sense. But buying Raycons, that makes sense. I personally own a pair of everyday Raycons. They're in electric blue. And I pull them out every so often, sometimes when I'm working out, maybe when I'm just cleaning around the house. I like them. And you can say, I like them about your Raycons too, by getting 15% all off of all their products by going to raycon.com slash OP. That's all you gotta do. Get 15% off your entire Raycon order. Feel free to grab a pair and a spare. 15% off at buyraycon.com slash OP. Buyraycon.com slash OP. I think I fucked up the URL the first time I said it, so I'm going to say it <laughs> one last time. That's buyraycon.com slash OP. They really are good. Good earphones. They you are. Know, the first time I, I used true wireless headphones, it was like magic. 
I, I felt like I was a caveman who just got catapulted into the future. <laughs> I, I, I just didn't get it. It just was magical. You can move your arms no all around you. You can move your head around. You can move your arm. Yeah, yeah you don't. I you know, really wish wires stove, didn't exist don't... anymore in general. It's so fucking. Uh, why is yeah. such an inconvenience? Why have we not yeah. progressed past the need for wires? Do you remember? Ugh. Do you remember back when, like, the standard was wired and it was, like, anything wireless was cheap, janky shit? Like, I, I remember mm. around the era of building my first computer and, like, looking at wireless mice and keyboards and be like, that shit fucking blows! The signal always cuts out and they lag and those are oh, fucking yeah, yeah. trash! But now it's kind of, like, seamless. Like, there's wireless mice. I'm using one right now that's, like, exactly the same as a regular mouse. We've come so far. Yeah. I, so, I used to have the same enough. assumptions about shit like, you know, I want good internet, I'm going to have to use the Ethernet cable. No, turns out that these days you don't really have to yeah. anymore. The Wi-Fi is good enough. Yeah, but fuck me, Wi-Fi. I mean, the cable management that you have to do with you, if you have a PC now, mind-boggling. Yeah. Uh, there, so there was a stupid urban myth that Tesla invented wireless electricity and he got killed for it or something. I wish that was true. I wish. I just want to know that it's at least possible, but it's a government cover up. Because then you taste himself some in the balls. <laughs> yeah. After storming Capitol Hill, <laughs> giving out his or address. Edison's office. <laughs> um, is this a stale topic? You guys can tell me if you don't want to talk about it anymore. But this past week. All the 13-year-olds on the internet learned a new term, and boy, do they love using it, and it's um, power dynamic. Uh, you guys catch uh, this? The old Carson situation. I yeah. Have, yeah, want to give us a rundown, one of you? It's just disappointing. I. It's it's exhausting at this point. Charlie, do you want to run it down? run it down? I ran down the last one. You can run this one down if you want. So basically, the Carson, last the last one oh, was sorry. Capital, I assume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you I mean, you mean the last topic? YouTuber. So basically, a week ago, Carson, call me Carson, popular YouTuber, uh, guest of the podcast as well, he's been here. Uh, it, it was revealed through a couple of his friends that he had been engaging uh, sexually with, I yeah, well, I guess you would call them fans, uh, two, two fans, I believe. Um, and usually I don't think that would have made much of an impact on the internet. Um, I, I think it would have been, it would have blown over extremely quickly, but in this particular case, two, uh, both of them were 17 and, and, and that is why it was framed as like a, a case of pedophilia and grooming. <laughs> so, so important to note, as far as we know, he was 19. So that's the info. Which is fucking ridiculous, of, right? Jesus Christ. That is fucking retarded. We're Ugh. going, this feels like back in 2016, it's like nothing but reruns. Back in 2016, Keemstar and a bunch of other YouTubers would just call each other pedophiles for, I don't know, looking at a 17-year-old girl's ass or something. Like, she'd be 17 years and 364 days old. But, you know, if you, if you complimented her tweet or something, you're a pedophile now. I feel like back in 2016, I, I don't know. I don't know what the drama situation was like in 2016. I didn't really pay attention to it, but I feel like that would have been completely, again, like overlooked. I feel like this kind of stuff has only happened in the like last two years, like where people are actually calling that kind of age difference pedophilia. One of the worst things you could call anyone a pedophile, like that has lifelong consequences and you're calling a two year <laughs> age gap pedophilia. You are, it really is you amazing. are acting. You are acting way more unethically and malicious than he ever did. From the messages <laughs> I saw, you're ruining a man's life for a two-year age gap. Jesus Christ! And it's these little thirteen-year-old psychopaths replying to everything on his Twitter, just calling him these names and telling him to kill himself and egging on his friends to dump him. All of whom did these those assholes, by the way. Uh, Amazing the most, shit. The most snakish yeah. behavior I have seen in a while. Why? Like they came out. They went on. Uh, what's Keemstar's show called? Drama Alert. They went on Drama Alert. Which, if you're going on Drama Alert, you obviously are going to be framing it a certain way, and you act as if you're doing this in the best interest of like uh, 
both Carson and, and air, like airing his dirty laundry or whatever. And then you frame it as like a pedophilia uh, situation. I, I, I believe they left the ages out of that original drama alert as well. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't know, man. I, I subscribe to Nold's notion <laughs> of when to call someone a pedophile is don't ever call someone a pedophile unless you can shoot them and feel uh, and sleep at night. Like, <laughs> who, 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 who said is that? This? Socrates? Who, who was that? <laughs> Null. Is it Joshua who's, Moon? Who's that? I think it's a good standard. Don't ever call someone that word unless you Why are you, you saying Null okay like we should know who Null life. is? Who's Null? That sounds like some QAnon okay. shit. Who the fuck is Null? Yeah. Jesus, the owner of Kibi Farms. Oh. You, why are you ah, saying yes. that like we should know I, that? Yeah, I don't know how we were yeah, supposed sorry, to know I that. forgot that <laughs> household name. Eh. Anyway. <laughs> I mean, I agree. I mean, uh, but also, I think these people like are that quote, I agree. These people are that delusional that I feel like they would shoot, uh, what's his name, Call Me Carson over this and still feel morally superior or morally in the right for doing so. Yeah, these fucking losers would. And then once people started pointing out that, look, two years is not a fucking age difference. These kids, yeah, when, they could have been in the same class. The, They're fucking idiots. When that didn't like, okay, the same kind of attention. Old girls, they're dumb, but guess what? So are 19-year-old boys. And then all of a sudden they shifted to the, okay, well, maybe he's not a pedophile, but the power dynamic. It's still rape because of the power dynamic. The power dynamic. What, what fucking power are you talking about? To go on the internet and make frivolous videos? She can do that. What, to go on his Twitter and shitpost? She can do that. What power does he have over her? He's a YouTuber. What are you talking about? The power dynamic is shit like... You know, he's a 19-year-old you, YouTuber. He's not someone running like a, a... He's not the Amazon of YouTube or anything. He doesn't have any substantial power. power dynamic is, uh, is he, he, supposed he to does. be reserved for shit like you're between your boss and you. It's like when Harvey yeah. Weinstein says to one of his actresses, hey, if you don't suck my dick, I'll make sure you never work in this town again. That's a power dynamic, not between some fucking special ed YouTuber and his groupie. What the fuck what, are you talking about? Leave these people alone. What, what is the implication here then that YouTubers are only able to date other YouTubers? Or the you're only able idea to date that that a lot of people on Twitter believe is he abused his power because she liked his videos. So he took advantage so? of the fact that she was a fan. That's just a, that's so? an attraction. That's, uh, people have a, Do you know what a groupie is? Oh God. Rock stars have been doing this since the dawn of time. This is nothing new. Oh, I'm your fan. Well, okay, it's, it's, now it's I have an in to flirt with you. It's not even that. There's a difference between abusing that relationship and just it being part of the the friendship like there's a difference between hey if you suck my dick i'll put your name in a video or hey if you yeah that, if you that's, that's an actual me, that's, abuse that's yeah an abuse that's of, the that's the abuse of a power dynamic or what the fuck ever but just having dating someone who likes your stuff that's i mean my girlfriend liked my videos before we got oh, together Jesus, like, don't say that yeah throw me in jail i know Ooh. what Ooh. jackson I, Andrew, I've said this before, you can only date people who are within a few minutes of your age, a few dollars of your savings, and a few followers of your social media, okay? You yeah. can't. I mean, and let me ask you this, Andrew, does your girlfriend have a successful podcast? My my God, she doesn't. Uh, uh, what Rapist. am I doing? Shit! Uh, go check out her podcast, not hastily thrown together, totally been there for years, <laughs> um... It's called, it's called I Am Of Legal Age Cast. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh boy. It's like, that's, that's Seriously, the one that pisses me I mean, off. Power it's dynamic. Like, go ahead. Hey, she's a fan or she's impressed by your status and money. Yeah, it's called dating. That's so, an I mean, attraction. To, <laughs> yeah. You can have that Tell in any this, relationship. So, yeah. Let, let's say a rich and famous doctor goes into a bar to pick up chicks. Should he lie to them and not tell them that he's a rich and famous doctor? Because then they're going to be impressed by his status. But that's rape, right? You can't use your money instead. You can't throw it around to get laid. I mean, what if she's not a rich and famous lawyer or something? What if she's just a cashier? There's a power imbalance here, right? One makes a hell of a lot more money, has more status in society. So if he tells her the truth, it's rape. Should he lie? Should he say he's a janitor? Is that okay? 
So yeah, but then he's a liar know. and he's deceiving None of this her, adds up. And he's being dishonest. You, so the big, the actual problem that I think is the problem is the fact that he just kept nudes from a 17-year-old. That's the did actual he, did issue. Did he keep them? Yeah. Did he keep that's them? stupid. Yeah. Uh, that, I mean, yeah, it's literally dumb. child porn. Well, it is stupid, but also he could legally have sex with her. Yeah. He, there, there is no kind of reasoning behind that law existing in it, that kind of capacity. Like, if you're going to seriously throw a 19 year old behind bars on child pornography charges because he sexed his 17 year old girlfriend. But it wasn't his girlfriend. Uh, it was like in the eyes of the law, well, yeah, that would yeah, just be yeah. like a random 17 year old, who, or, or, and the other one too, I guess, that he was soliciting nudes from. That is a problem. Yeah, yeah but, but you still have to look at these things ethically. You have to we kind all get of the, understand yeah. the spirit behind it. There's all these, you know, Romeo and Juliet laws and such, and I get that's really, really difficult to legislate properly and have it make sense in every instance. And, you know, it, the morality of it is different than on a case by case basis. But this guy is just a fucking autistic YouTuber who just he was attracted to a 17 year old fan who gives a fuck. He's not Pornhub farming nudes from children and then monetizing them and shaming them on the Internet. I mean, it, it wasn't even about the age to him, likely. It was just availability. <laughs> like, it was just someone similar in age. Like, there's no difference between a 17-year-old and a 19-year-old physically or even emotionally, mentally. There's no kind of difference there, really. So I don't understand how you can make pedophilia claims. It's the well, that's, that's, that's the other funny things. one. The age of consent in a lot of states is 16. 16 or 17, yeah. Yeah, it's 16 yeah like Jackson here. said, they can... She could legally fuck whoever she wants... The day she turned 16, she could marry, for God's sake. But no, you know, she, you know, uh, sending each other nudes, two teenagers exchanging nudes. That's the end of I the planet here. That's I don't understand why we have to rapist. look at all of this as legal, like in legal terms. Though. Why can't we look at it as like an actual ethical discussion? Like jaywalking is illegal, but you don't insult people for jaywalking. You've never jaywalked, have you, Jackson? Or marijuana was illegal for like uh, what the fuck? hundred years. But everyone are, smoked. Are you oh, kidding what? me, you Jackson? Admitting? You crossed the street illegally and smoked <laughs> marijuana? I should lock you the fuck up. You goddamn <laughs> sociopath. This is... It, it's not even a moral gray zone, though, even if you just want to look at the it's ethics. Not it's such close. a monumental nothing burger. It's so mundane. <laughs> 17 year old sent nudes to 19 year old oh god someone called unicef nato the united nations they must be warned of carson's evils he's a super villain get the fuck out of here calling him a pedophile and all these purists these all the friends who dumped him all the 13 year old pieces of shit in his comments all of these guys these hyper puritan super chats who apparently never do this aren't they the ones who are always get exposed as the actual rapists you're the kind of fucking people, you have that sparkly of a reputation. You're usually the kind of guy who turns out to have gotten 15-year-old boys drunk at a fucking Smash tournament and have fucked them in the ass. And you're getting mad at this kid because he was this flirting with a 17 year old. Imagine Fuck that off. comes true. Kaya's going to look like an actual prophet. A prophet, yeah. That would be fucking insane. But he's not wrong. Yeah, the people yeah. that often like come out and make these uh, massive uh, you know, claims and such are uh, often trying to do it to like move the spotlight away from them and act as uh, or look I a whole lot holier than they actually are it's not smart a smart thing for them to d do either to make themselves out to be sparkly clean sinless saints because sooner or later somebody will leak some cringe message you sent to a girl and then you're gonna look like the biggest hypocrites rather than just being honest and being like yeah dude you know we all do dumb shit yeah <laughs> What don't men do to get pussy? Look at us, kind of, you know, every once in a while we cringe. What? That's another thing, too. People making fun of the messages. I always hate it when people leak messages just uh, for an act of vengeance. Like, what? None of you have ever said something cringe when flirting? I know yeah. I have, and I'll honestly say that. Come on, you, you, are yeah, you really I telling mean, me that if absolutely. I went through your private messages, I could find nothing embarrassing? You've never made a fool out of yourself trying to flirt up a girl? Get out of here. Every, every single person who has ever sexed those messages out of context or even in context are going to look oh. so fucking... <laughs> so yeah. fucking bad. Even they look they look cringe even in context. Even with, with a yeah. girl that I'm in a relationship with at the moment, when I scroll up, I'm like, oh, I said that yesterday? Shit. <laughs> yeah, what, once your nutsack is empty and you're able to look at it with a clearer... Post-nut <laughs> clarity is a real phenomenon and I oh, highly encourage it. it. Is. Yeah. 
remember, <clears throat> kids, anytime you're going on a date, just rub one out real quick and then see if you really still want to go on that date because that means it's true love. Speaking oh, of so true, love, find true love, yeah, you should work out love, so you one of increase the, your odds. One of the easiest ways to do it is to get in super good shape. Did you know that attractive people find true love easier and quicker than you? It's fact. And did you know that you can get <laughs> more fit and in better shape by getting a fitness routine designed for you? You can use FitBod. FitBod understands that the path to achieving your best look differs for everyone. They have an algorithm that uses data and analytics to help you build your body and improve on your last workout to maximize your results. FitBod will help you get personalized fitness routines that don't even require equipment. They have body weight routines for those looking to get fit at the at home or on the go. FitBod is super easy to use and has HD video tutorials to make learning new exercises a breeze. It'll even integrate with your health and fitness apps such as Apple Health, Fitbit, and Strava. If you want to start working out, look at your muscle groups and go, hey, hey, you, get stronger. You should maybe try FitBot. I mean, that's what I did. For some reason, I thought screaming at my muscles would get me stronger like that. It's not true. Instead, I signed up for FitBot, tried some of those body weight courses, because again, with some sort of horrible virus going around, you don't want to exactly go into the, to the gym. And it worked pretty great. I feel better and healthier. You can get your body out of hibernation and start off the year stronger than ever with FitBod. Get 25% off of a membership when you sign up now through February 28th at fitbod.me slash official. That's 25% off if you sign up now through February 28th at fitbod.me slash official. F-I-T-B-O-D dot M-E slash official. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I love promoting fitness. Go on there, Carson. No. Oh. Get a fit bod. <clears throat> no, seriously, I I though, I mean, Carson is an idiot for keeping the photos, but he's an even bigger idiot for apparently curating an audience of these douchebag psychopaths and a social circle of douchebag psychopaths. I, I read one of the messages from, like, one of his friends made a statement. Pretty much immediately after it all went like, uh, like it all went down. First of all, they had been holding onto this information for like a year or so, so they already knew about this. They they could plan for a year about what they were going to do, and they still managed to fuck it up in one of the most insane, malicious ways possible. But anyway, one of them posted uh, like a Twitter document saying what a statement, and he had basically said that he had immediately, like a year ago, uh, alerted the FBI of the situation like his own friend fucking what put it in a, in a tip because it, it apparently affected him this much over a two year relationship you went to the FBI you fucking degenerate which is that weird is because he continued to stay on to the do. lunch club didn't he or did he immediately yeah. quit the lunch that's weird so he called that in but decided to keep making money off of Carson the face of the lunch club it's kind of odd because he didn't care that much the face of pure evil how come yeah, how surprising is, these people again, just want to... Uh, they're just so dedicated to protecting their own interests online. It's, it's technically illegal, but it's such a petty nothing of a law. It's like calling the FBI because you caught your uh, friend smoking weed. Yeah, a like, No one's actually getting shit. hurt here. I haven't read Assholes. the messages. I, I, I'm assuming I you guys have, but I, the biggest yeah. thing I saw was manipulation and shit like that. Did he like ever <laughs> say things like, I'll let you on the lunch club if you send me nudes or anything? Absolutely not. No, nothing even close to that. It was basically just two, two teenagers. <laughs> and, and remember, she, she took the pictures that she posted. She took out context entirely, pretty much. So she was just posting the uh, the choice cuts, the ones that incriminated him the most. And they were still extremely tame they just look like two emotional dumb teenagers flirting like every other single fucking time that teenagers flirt uh, charlie it was i can't control my horny levels tears of <laughs> yeah, it, 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 he's hey, not don't, some don't manipulative the horny mastermind level in, don't invoke the horny level in vain kaya that's a really powerful <laughs> opener we're we're not talking about some pedophile Hannibal Lecter here intelligently whiling his way into will graham's life no it's just he, he said, I can't flirting. stop thinking about you when I jerk off. That was one of the lines. 
That's cute. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Again, because you know, none of Jesus. us have ever said anything like that to a girl, right? Yeah, well, I, I, I can confidently say I've never said that. That's that's pretty. Oh, you're so cool. Yeah. You're so cool. <laughs> that's, that's, oh, yeah, that's a little so cool. Much. Show us your messages. <laughs> oh, I, I, that, I think that's what we should do next time for show and tell. Dig up our old like flirt messages from back in the day. Ooh. I still have oh. some. Say those things. I never oh, want to see. I those deleted things. the fuck. I kind of those like that idea. Time ago. Oh, you insecure assholes! I still have. I mean, history's bound to repeat. I said I don't have like. The I can't directors. promise if I can find good stuff though, but I'll try. The why do you have awe. these saved? Have you just never yeah, like deleted why, text yeah. messages for decades? Well, like no, a, a no, lot of Andrew, them were through when you have Facebook. old computers. Yeah, and a lot of them were oh, through Facebook. Like carries over. Like I know distinctly that I have somewhere in, in back in Turkey under my bed someplace I have an old laptop where I had MSN installed, and boy, if I could find that. Nothing will make you cringe like it. Oh, God. That would be... Uh, Kaya, absolutely get that. I'll try and dig up more of my old Facebook flirts from, like, high school and college. And, yeah. Well, are we talking flirts or just, like, sexting? What are you talking? Uh, Either flirting. I, I don't think I don't think I was ever successful <laughs> with sexting, so I'd have to check the records. <laughs> you've never gone all the way? You've never sexted? I know you haven't sent nudes, right? No, I've never taken a nude. <laughs> It's not too late. No, I never will. I did one time, one dick pic with my ex. It was the grossest looking thing I've ever seen myself in, so I've never done it since. I have taken pictures Women of my butt. Women don't get that though. for some reason. They'll ask for a nude, and you're like, you, you will reassure them, like, listen, I've been a man my whole life. Trust me, there is no way to make this look pleasing. You will not like what you see. Would you they like the well. rest of you in the photo, not just your penis? Yeah, they would you take everything. a nude if it was under duress? Like, let's say fucking <laughs> Natalie Portman, like, messages you and she goes, Charlie, I, God, do I want sex, but I That's need to make duress, sure. baby. No, but, she, but she's duress. like, the cartels have my family kidnapped and they need to oh, see your penis. Duress. What do you care? <laughs> yeah. Oh, now she was Haley Berry. Berry. <laughs> At that point, it's just you trying to save You convoluted my example, Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they kidnap your loved one. All right, so they... Is yeah. that your premise? Charlie, imagine imagine your family's kidnapped and they're being held by the Mexican cartel and the leader is like, look, man, we'll let them go, but we need to see that dick first. Would you do it? I'd probably just... I'd try and, like, test it first to see how astute they are. I'd probably just find a picture of a penis and say it's mine <laughs> first and see how that goes. They need full-body so nude shot. Ooh. Is El Chapo gay now? What is happening? What is the root cause <laughs> they, here? <laughs> they lo they're collecting celebrity penises for the eventual war. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I'd have to really... I guess I... I don't know. I don't, I don't know. It's just feel to save a life, you wouldn't do it? Yeah, but, you if know... If it was my family, I'd absolutely do it. Well, yeah. Family, for sure. But it'd have to be, like... You know, are you really going to do it? Like, take a little bit of flesh off to show me that you're serious. <laughs> Cut a finger off Shot. first. Yeah. Send me proof. Cut off her hand. <laughs> a photo of her with an up-to-date up newspaper. I need to know she's still alive. I need to know she'll see my dick. Let me talk to her. I'm showing dick for you. <laughs> I'll get you out of there. <laughs> that would suck. Yeah, it might be a rough. But I mean, if it's just gonna be staying in the cartel's private collection, I don't even care that much. But well, if yeah, they're gonna then go on Twitter like, like if, if El Chapo is gonna be like, Kaya manipulated me and he sent me <laughs> dick pics and we were flirting for a while and we never heard back from him. Yes, that's El, El Chapo's master plan. Was talking to. Imagine El Chapo tries to cancel someone for sexting him. <laughs> that was his grand master plan with all of his crimes. The final out was getting someone to take the blame by canceling them. I only did uh. it because because I saw their dick, their power dynamic over me. I mean, I'd do it. I, I, I really don't. I, to save a life, that's more than my dick's ever done, so. I'd do it. <laughs> True. <laughs> It's really not that big of a deal, I think. It's just a penis. We we all have them, or at least half of us do. And they all pretty much look the same. So I just worry about it shit. being, like, flaccid. Like, if dick pic ever leaves. Are you that what insecure? What do you mean? Oh, flaccid. Yeah, you sound, like, super insecure of your penis. Wait, yeah. Flaccid, flaccid wiener is like... the worst kind of picture to leak, though. 
That's the yeah, but absolute who worst. Well, yeah, who actively but, yeah, but cares? Who gives a fuck? If anything no, uses the strength, you go, yeah, that's my flaccid it, wiener, so what? Everyone's got a flaccid wiener. I don't think you everyone has You guys are focusing on one. the wrong thing. Why would you be flaccid? You're, you're in the... Oh yeah, you're oh, no, 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 no. I was just talking about in general. Photo at your own home. No, no, no. I was just talking oh. like in general. I'd be really scared of like it, okay. a dick pic leaking, but it's also flaccid. Well, wait. Why would you ever take oh, a yeah. picture of your flaccid penis in the first place? Well, just in case, just, like you know, like maybe well, a let's... rogue photographer in a tree out there catches me getting out of the shower. <laughs> yeah. 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 He so, deserves it in that case. I, I don't. I don't get it. Are you like assuming people won't know that it's flaccid? They'll be like, look at this really, really tiny, <laughs> totally erect wiener. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it, people always give people the benefit of the doubts. No, I'm all, I'm all with Charlie here. They're gonna shit talk him. Yeah, no, absolutely. Well, then, people don't then care post, if you're a grower. Post your erect penis immediately after. Say no. This yeah. is what it looks like. <laughs> go, oh, that, go look. That was a bad photo. Here, let me fix that. And then go to like a modeling studio. Yeah. Get high resolution 4K photos in perfect lighting of your we've, immaculate we've erection. We've talked about this in the past. The best way that anyone has ever dealt with anything like that, like their nudes leaking or whatever, is Jeff Bezos, where he just basically yeah. said, "Fuck it." Do it. Yeah, but he yeah. had a big bulge. When, like whenever, long, semi chub when, bulge. He's also whenever, filthy rich. When, no, it doesn't matter. Whenever controversy like this ever yeah, hits, the very best thing to do every time is just admit to it and get in, in front of it. That's it. It's the best just way to like handle all of you. these situations. Exactly. That's the dumbest fucking or just advice. Don't let it bother you. In every situation? No. Usually the best course of action is deny, deny, deny. Carson should have denied everything, not admitted to it. Like, uh, <laughs> what, wait, what if he came out and said, yeah, I'd do it again. I'll do it again. <laughs> <laughs> and then he sends us sex. Yeah, that's me, and I'll do it uh, again. <laughs> if it wasn't for you meddling children. Here's more pictures of when I sexed her. Um, <laughs> <laughs> actually, I think I, I would have been pretty impressed if he did do that. I would have, I would have respected that. Maybe the internet wouldn't have. I mean, me too. I but at the end of the day, just apologizing and shriveling up doesn't help. Oh, I didn't, oh, say, apologizing apologizing on the I didn't say apologize. Yeah. No. Apologizing is the absolute worst thing you can do on the no. internet. No, the best thing to do is just admit you did it and be like, yep, I made a mistake. I did that. Okay. That's it. That's where I it ends. Bezos even said that. I don't think he even said I made a mistake. Well, it depends on what you did. Said, do it, bitch. No, it depends on what you did. Like, if your nudes get leaked, you should literally just be like, yep, that's my dick. The, the end. Cool. Look at it if you want. Sounds great. Because what's going to come from it? Who gives a fuck? Yeah, yeah it'll be news famous. for like a day. Oh boy. They can't take all his wealth from it or anything. It's it fine. doesn't change anything. If you do something illegal or heinous <laughs> that's different, him. but if, if something comes out and it's like, haha, look at his dick, or haha, look at this embarrassing photo, who who gives a shit? Wow, people will laugh at it for a day and then completely forget it happened. It only remember, has as much power as you give it, really. Remember the Mark Zuckerberg photos of him on the jet ski? It's like, yeah, we laughed at it for a week and now no one talks about it at all anymore. Yeah, but it's also not a he didn't even dick. Own it. Yeah, it's not like he a didn't own it. How many, yeah, well, how many celebrities have had dick pics leaked where we don't even talk about it anymore? Tons. But who also, why are you taking the world's most powerful men as examples? They could do anything and it wouldn't matter. He could take his dick out in a press conference. Those so men have companies that are more powerful than most nation states. So then it matters they even less for you because no one gives a shit about you. Yeah, agreed. So it should matter even less. If my nudes, I, if I, I ever know, had yeah. nudes and they were By leaked, I would be like, yep, that's no my cock. Your right. nudes did okay, leak, Andrew. Goldilocks remember when you sent us matter. your taint? You sent us your taint. <laughs> no, that was the taint of a girl I was dating, remember? <laughs> oh, holy shit. Wasn't yeah, I don't have a vagina, Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> I was the one that started that rumor. For Only podcast veterans are going to remember that. When we used I to just use, believed yeah. it because it was the hairiest taint I've ever seen. Yeah, I, she had a lot of hair. When, uh, when the podcast was still in its infancy, we were using Skype. And yeah. one time out of nowhere, Andrew dropped a picture of what I thought was his hairy teeth. He, he only kept it there for a second, but I remembered it for life. It was, it was so unfair. So we were using Skype. And I was at the same time <laughs> so on, on OkCupid, and I had some girls I was talking to over Skype, because Discord wasn't exactly, like, as big. <laughs> a thing. A exactly. Thing. And this one girl over Skype, we were talking, and we were dating a couple times, getting flirty, and she decided to send me nudes. Well, oh, nice. Skype had this feature at the time where, for some fucking reason, when you went to send a photo, rather than it pulling from your phone's photos, it would pull from photos you were sent over Skype. 
So I was tapping on my phone trying to send the podcast group some photo. I don't even remember. I think it was for a screenshot for an ad or something. And it was like, oh, here's recent photos you were sent. Why don't you send them this? And so <laughs> her fucking nudes were all in there. And it just sent a photo of her fucking taint, which was hairy. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so I deleted it immediately after. But apparently, because Skype is a great program, they save every photo you've sent to everyone in a local yeah. photo, fo yeah, uh, folder yeah, on your desktop. So Kaya immediately, Kaya, with his fucking hey, hacker skills, found no, it. No, don't give Kaya the credit. I was the one that found it. It was on just local files in like a hidden folder. I found that. I, I wanted to <laughs> share it with the group. <laughs> But uh, I, I don't think I'm they were my sure nudes. What with the uh, what maybe. with the visible vagina? But who knows? Maybe they were. I really don't remember a vagina being in there. See, that's the that's the problem the I had too. So when I initially was recalling it, I was like, "That was definitely your fucking taint, Andrew." It was because it was a weird picture. Like the angle was weird. It was like on a <laughs> yeah. on a seat, and like a leg was lifted in the air. Like you couldn't even see butthole. It was just like straight taint <laughs> under a microscope. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, "This is I definitely your fucking taint." Hair. It's just hair. Yeah. Yeah, they were they were not flattering looked, nudes at all. But trust me, if they were like mine, a, it looked like a sweaty bull sack to me. I'm gonna, nah, if they if they were mine, they would still be there. I would not have deleted it. I would have been like, "Oops, yep, there you go, there you go, gentlemen." But no, nah, it was it was uh, obviously an overly hairy woman that I was dating at the time. Why Why would she to. send that though? Why Why would anyone send the conversation that like that? got steamy enough that she was like, "Hey, you want to check this out?" And I was like, "Sure." So, <laughs> but my fuck takes. it. <laughs> Look, look, I, all I know is that we were both of age Jimmy consenting Hops? adults, and she was like, you want some nudes? And I was like, sure, and I did not expect it to be that hairy. So yeah, that was, was, I got a surprise too. But the thing was, honest. like, if it really wasn't your taint, Andrew, she had, like, the worst angle possible, because it was on, like, that three-centimeter bridge between vaginal closing and asshole, and that's all you could see, was that, like, yeah. tiny it, stretch of was hair. She, was they she trying to get nudes. rid of you? <laughs> It worked because I don't think I talked to her again. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should uh, reach back out to her. See if yeah. How's your taint no. doing? <laughs> <laughs> My friends were talking about your taint again. <laughs> Got a wax job yet? <laughs> Has your taint improved since we last spoke? <laughs> Uh, Speaking of improving, yeah. why not improve the quality of your meals, Andrew? Oh, thank God. Hello, Fresh. I've been looking oh. at this on my own time so often. COVID Same. makes things miserable. Leaving the house is a horrible idea. But I, as I've mentioned on the podcast, have been cooking a lot lately. I like cooking. It's fun. Food tastes good. Hello, Fresh will help you make good tasting food. They are fresh, pre-measured ingredients and mouth-watering seasonal recipes delivered right to your door. They let you skip trips to the grocery store and make home cooking fun, easy, and affordable. HelloFresh cuts out stressful meal, meal planning so you can enjoy dinner on the table in 30 minutes or less. HelloFresh offers 23 recipes a week featuring a range of flavors, cuisines, and ingredients. Eating healthier has also never been easier with their low-cal, carb-smart, vegetarian, and pescatarian options every week. No matter what you choose, every recipe will be packed with fresh produce sourced directly from farmers. I actually had a meal cooked by one of my lovely friends who is also a member of HelloFresh. He made shepherd's pie. It was absolutely delicious, and it was easy to cook. It was HelloFresh. What more do I got to tell you? You can go to HelloFresh.com slash Official10 and use code Official10 for 10 free months, including free shipping. I'm going to say that number three more times so you don't forget it. HelloFresh.com slash Official10 and use code Official10 for, you'll never guess how many free months, or sorry, meals, free meals, 10 free meals with code official Jesus. 10 Ugh. that's a lot of that's a lot of free that meals. is that's better than free months that's that is 10 whole free meals i can't read today though that's code official 10 at hellofresh.com official 10 for 10 free meals there we go i actually want to quickly endorse them myself as well i've been using hellofresh for the last month and i used it earlier last year as well and it's fantastic yeah the ingredients it's, are fresh they show up they shop and it's actually like the, the, the little recipe cards they give you. You can keep and use them in the future as well. Uh, the, the, the instructions are clear, precise. Anyone can cook using HelloFresh. It's great. 
It, it is really great. I am Fantastic highly service. endorsing that shepherd's pie recipe. If they're still rolling with it by the time you sign up, which will be after this episode, I, I highly recommend it. It was absolutely delicious. Give that a shot. Yep. Agreed. That's Thanks, code, Fresh. code official 10, 10 free meals. Thanks for keeping me fed. Yeah. Anyway, I'm so glad we don't use Skype anymore. Do you guys remember the fucking Skype days of this podcast where for some reason we didn't use Discord and our audio quality sounded like shit and there was lag and constant disconnects? It was the yeah. fucking worst. I can't believe Skype I remember still for a while there, Andrew, you were the only one on Discord and you were trying to convert us and we just didn't yeah. believe yeah, you for and like all a couple of, of months. <laughs> All of you fucking guys are like, Discord sucks, it's the worst, I hate it, it doesn't make any sense, I can't set it up. It's such a league of difference in quality between Skype and Discord. I was just afraid of change. God, I, I love like Discord. Change. They've come a long way since then, that's for sure. Yeah. They dropped yeah. the cringe gamer marketing. That, yeah. that was a milestone. And Skype has literally never improved. They still sound like they're connecting you to a phone call from 1998. Yeah, it, it just sounds like ass. The UI looks like ass. They load it with ads now. Like I, I, I'm actually fucking happy that Zoom has taken off because I hope that as the like mainstream regular ass person video calling thing, it just completely destroys Skype because Skype is so fucking awful. It is truly abominable. I think it's just Microsoft not giving a fuck anymore that it's going to go the way of MSN Messenger. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, they'll, well, they'll, they'll just take it down. I don't think Microsoft sees like a casual audience for Skype. It's more businesses, but even businesses, I imagine, are just going to give up on Skype soon. Yeah, they're switching to Zoom. Yeah, everyone's switching Zoom. to Zoom. I mean, everyone's on Zoom. Zoom's the fucking hot thing right now. Or one of them. China wins again. Is Zoom owned by China? Oh, yeah. And it's, uh, it's spyware, too. Uh they had one of their spies spy on Chinese dissidents and report their docs to the Chinese government via Zoom. Wow, I didn't know that. Efficient. Fun. <laughs> yeah, Zoom's so efficient. <laughs> it's great. Yeah, why doesn't Discord do anything like that? Pussy. Yeah, Discord doesn't spy on anything. God. Well, yeah, they absolutely do. Yeah. Yeah, they don't even have concentration camps. All right. Give what us one last topic here, Andrew. Yeah, what do you uh, got for us? God, I had one and I forgot. I had it at the beginning and I've lost it. Um, Jackson, then. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to think of it. What? Um, fuck, there was something else that happened this week. Oh, my God. Uh, another Not plane missing. went missing, Ooh. completely vindicating me and Charlie yet again, <laughs> yep. and yep. again, and again. Wait, another plane went missing? Yeah. Um, says, Boeing plane goes missing in Indonesia with 62 on board. The fuck? When did this happen? I didn't hear a single thing about that. Um, oh, it crashed. Oh, yeah. The passenger <laughs> crashed missing. in the Java Sea, <laughs> Indonesia. Surprise, we oh, found Saturday. it. Saturday. <laughs> oh, we should be yes. laughing at that. <laughs> Rest in peace, those 62 souls. Um, Sirijvi... I don't know how to pronounce this. Srivijaya Air Flights. Lost more than 10,000 feet of altitude in less than a minute, about four minutes after departure. Cool. Oh, yeah, I hate planes still. Yep. Same. Fuck them. I hate planes. Don't want to be on them. Another example as to why. I like planes. There's been like two plane Not crashes again. every year for the last five years now. Cool. There's been That's tens and thousands yeah. of flights every year for the past year now. Yeah, Plus but the amount headlines. of plane crashes is increasing. You, you only remember the negative Charlie, ones. Charlie, you are more likely to die in a car accident than a plane oh, accident. We do this every single time. I know, time. we no do. Point. And literally, yeah, Charlie will drive for 14 plane. hours on trips, like increasing his likelihood of death tenfold rather than fly. He's alive, isn't he? Proof is in the pudding. <laughs> Where's all them <laughs> Indonesian passengers? Hmm? Where are they? Shit. Can't argue with that. Not taking the car. We need a new topic, though. I know I'm struggling for one, but we can't Jackson. keep talking about plain <laughs> shit. We did it what? for like seven episodes. <laughs> well, why did we even start obsessing over plain shit? It's such an obscure... Let's find another... Oh, okay, I, I, I got a good one. Life. I got a good one. Does anyone else fucking hate boats? 
I think we did that too. God damn it, I hate boats. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, why do you we hate did. boats? Oh, yeah, they, I just, know that. they feel like the most like inefficient and obnoxious form of transportation. They're constantly rocking and you can't like keep perfect control of them. And it's like they're so inconvenient you can only bring them certain places relative to land. And it's just uh, ugh. Out of all the types of travel, seafaring just does not appeal to me. I don't I, dig it. I agree. I agree with that. Yeah. They're just inconvenient. It's like they're bulky and they just I mean, like, think about parking That's a boat. That's another technology that hasn't really um, innovated in a long while, right? Like, we've kind of, like, we got giant cruise liners, but now they're only yeah. the innovation. Mm-hmm. It's just adding rides on top of them or different rides. There's no real speed increases. I, I guess there's probably efficiency improvements behind the scenes, like, to uh, make fuel guzzling less of a thing, but I, still. I mean, there's a lot of, like, good things that come from boats. Like, shipping things over water sometimes is super convenient, and obviously there's water industries like fishing and this and that. But I, I just, I don't know. I think out of any lifestyle I could choose, a seafaring man is the exact opposite of what I'd want. I, I don't dig the ocean or being on a boat or any of I that. Like Everything ocean. about it is just I hate annoying. The ocean. Yeah, I completely yeah. agree with that. Wait, you all hate the ocean? Why? Yeah, there's n- there's nothing to do it's out dark there. Yeah, scary. there's so much to do. You can fish. You can go scuba diving. You can fish off a pier, and, and you, you can, can go scuba diving yeah. and come back. <laughs> you can go scuba dive. Wait, what? I'm not advocating for living in the ocean. But you're, you're saying these things like you have to be like a seafaring man or live on the sea to do them. No, you can go out, and do them, and come back. When did I ever say that? No, they're they're saying they hate the ocean in general, right? <laughs> I well, not like that, as yeah. a principle. I, as long as it's away from me, I don't. I have no animosity towards the ocean or its inhabitants. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. That's Kaya's press mean release. The ill. <laughs> <laughs> we have, I'm we sorry have for my sensitive ocean. remarks. I promise you. I, I know I have shark friends, and I'd never say anything racist. But fuck the ocean. <laughs> Kai's got a prepared man, statement it's... for when the octopi rise up against him. <laughs> I think being out in the ocean, though, is like your primary like means of surviving is the worst. I think that yeah. would fucking suck. I agree. Yeah, I would, I would rather... Who, who does that, though? Who, I, w- who I would absolutely that? much rather be a farmer living completely away from everyone on the land, having to raise my oh, own food, so than boring. a fucking fisher who goes out to sea every day to get his fish. Yeah. Fuck that. Even worse is the guy who Jackson operates you... those big freight ships. Like, that has to oh, suck. Yeah. yeah. Fuck. No, but Jackson, so have you ever been to the beach at night? Uh, yeah. Plenty of times. So, you know how the water will look literally black? Like, just a void? You yeah. can't see yeah. anything? My biggest fear is just me being dropped there in the middle of that at night. Oh, yeah. God, yeah. that's that's the thing that a lot of people don't think about, man. The ocean is fucking dark, so it's like Wait, this... you, you mean you you mean your fear is drowning? Everyone's afraid of that. Like you're you're gonna no, drown just... if you drop in the middle of the ocean. You can no, be dropped okay. in the ocean. Even if the you drop me, no, it has nothing to do with Even that. No, you... there's a difference, no. Jackson. Because think about it. The creepiness of me not knowing what's in there. It's just it, yeah. like you drop me in space or something. I know that that's I the could same swim as no, back to no, shore Jackson, day, if I'm close no, enough. No, during day, you don't know what's underneath you as well. The ocean no, is that Jackson, large and No, but Jackson, it's deep. the fear of the unknown. You. Imagine you're drowning in a pool. I, but I'm saying you can do that at day as well. Night has nothing to do with that. It's but scarier at night. It's scarier at night. I guess it would be scarier. Yeah. It's the same during day. Like, but that's, that's the thing a lot of people don't consider. The ocean's dark as fuck. So it's like, if you're out on a boat doing your fishing stuff and it's like, ah, what a great haul for today. Time to go to bed. And it's like two in the morning. You better fucking hope that nothing happens to your boat. Otherwise you are absolutely fucked. (laughs) Like, that's it. Your life is over. (laughs) I hope you don't get a hole or your electricity doesn't (sighs) cut out. Good luck. You can make a new boat. Yeah, just build a new boat out of the the old (laughs) boat. Make the ship of Theseus out there. It's perfect. Wasn't that's, there a That's why a you always bring a floaty a... with you. Or like a... <laughs> blow up. A little water wave. Whatever you call it. Yeah. <laughs> Be prepared. You know what's a real nightmare? I, I think there was a... I don't know what size the ship was, but it capsized and sank. And then scuba Titanic? divers, the Sidon? rescue mission... No. It, isn't that a movie? I don't know. I, anyway, I don't know if that was rescue real Rescue divers <laughs> went in down and they found... In an air bubble, a man had survived for several days. Yeah, I saw in that. In the darkness, yeah. underwater. Cool. cool, that is terrifying. I'd try to kill myself. 
at that point what are you gonna do like you have no light you have no, nothing well, it, it, it just wouldn't cold be hard and wet. Just drown just leave oh, <laughs> oh god and that doesn't make it better because <laughs> yeah. drowning is apparently one of the slowest and painfulest ways you can die it's your lungs filling up with water yeah so, yeah. so that's fucking great I remember Ugh, when people were saying ocean. it's the most peaceful way of dying. I don't know who started that rumor. Nah, I watched I watched a fucking what? special a long while ago on like it was like what happens when you die in various ways, and they discovered dr they talked about drowning, and apparently one of the things they don't talk about is if you drown in the ocean as your body sinks because of the pressure, your eardrums will also rupture. Oh, it's wow. just oh, not great. great. A lot of if you what drown is, what in does rupture mean what does rupture where mean they literally situation? explode from the pressure. Oh, wow. yeah. So, so like, basically, if you drown in the ocean where it can get deep, a lot of horrible shit happens to your body because of the water pressure. <laughs> it's not great. I mean, you don't even have to drown, right? What, what's that thing? The bends or something? The bends? Ah, that's another one, yeah. Where you, you get turned upside down or whatever, and the difference in pressure, like, makes you internally explode or something. Yeah. What? Fucks up, it fucks up the dilation of your blood or the oxygen levels and it's something about your blood and basically if you surface from the ocean too quick too it can fast. just it can just absolutely You'll, destroy your insides yeah apparently like your insides just explode yeah. Wait, isn't that so why what, um, what happens what, what, bend? you fucking die or your organs can rupture or your blood gets all fucked up it's why if you yeah. um if you decompress incorrectly, you have to sit in like a compression chamber for hours yeah, you have to you have to do it slowly you yeah. have to Charlie, like reacclimate you, your body um, it's why when they bring up, you know, you guys know those very deep sea fish and mm -hmm. they yeah. scoop them up the and try to bring fish. them to the surface. That's why they melt. <laughs> they're yeah. Like they yeah. literally so, fall apart. So you're giving them the um, bends, you're exploding their insides. That's literally what you're doing. Up. A lot of people think the blobfish is like this big, ugly, disgusting, dimorphic creature, but it's actually just <laughs> experiencing the bends. If you look at it in its natural <laughs> habitat, it looks like a normal fish. <laughs> so it's going through this excruciating pain. Yep, all for our amusement. People insulting it. <laughs> <laughs> you ugly son of a bitch. <laughs> Point and laugh yeah, at it because it's thing. deformed and dead. <laughs> <laughs> Just like the Baltes guy. I'd never Where's heard of the bins the... before. That's very interesting. Really? Yeah. Well, never we heard just of that. we convinced Charlie to never go scuba diving now. Well, it's not like that no, was on my yeah. list of things to do anyway. It shit sounds terrible. <laughs> I mean, you have to dive pretty pretty fucking far for yeah. it to happen. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> it's so bad for this thing. <laughs> Everyone should feel bad for the blobfish. between them in water and out of water is fucked up. Yeah. Yeah, it, oh, looks, like a normal, it looks like a normal fish, but then the other one is it's like <laughs> turned inside yep. out. Like it's exploded internally. <laughs> yep. Oh, that poor fish. Science oh. is cruel. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hope Danny for the video version of this podcast puts a picture of the blobfish before and after on screen. And if you're at home listening on audio, please... Google the difference in blobfish it. because, good lord, is it cruel what we did to this animal for our amusement? It's <laughs> fucked up. Oh, there's like some pus leaking out of its mouth too. Just oh. the last. Okay, yeah. So sad. Oh. Yeah. I'm sure Aquaman I hates don't. Us. No, that can't be fucking right. I've seen the blobfish documentaries where, like, in the water, it looked like that too. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you I, mean, I don't know for sure. sure. I was just going by what Andrew said. We got photos of it. Yeah. If you can prove him wrong right now, Charlie, I'm going to swap sides. <laughs> I'll be on yeah, your side. Yeah, if you want to fact check him. I'm, My mind I'm, is open I'm to be checked. <laughs> Wait, bony eared ass fish. Is that what it's called? <laughs> Someone just posted it in chat. <laughs> nah, I think that's a different fish. Yeah. Uh. Cool name though. Why? Why did they call it this though? The other fish, bony eared ass fish. <laughs> what, what do we have against fish? That's what I've always wondered. <laughs> it seems like humanity in general just insults fish, or like they they treat fish so poorly, even though they're still animals. <laughs> like they're conscious animals. We yeah. don't give fish any respect at all. Have you been in the ocean? <laughs> Fuck yeah, fish. I love that too. Don't you love how vegetarians will still eat fish? It's like, oh, that's fine. They're not yeah. meat. Fuck them. <laughs> Why? Just because they're from the ocean? <laughs> Maybe Kai was right. Maybe we do have like in <laughs> natural uh, hatred for the ocean because they're gross. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. 
Did you find proof, Charlie? No, apparently in sh- like so I don't even know if this is true, but apparently in shallow water they also look like that. It's only when there they're like go. deep, deep, deep that they look normal. Yeah, they mm. have no bones or skeletons, so they keep together with the intense pressure. Yeah. All right. Blobfish. Well, sure. Now we I think we can wrap it. Yeah, that's your zoology lesson for the day. And uh, that's the end of this podcast. Thank you for joining us for another week of podcasting. I hope you took something away from this episode, a lesson, anything, anything positive. If you did, maybe consider heading on over to patreon.com slash the official podcast where you can find uh, bonus episodes. I believe we're up to bonus episode 70 at the moment. So you got 70 bonus episodes worth of content there. As well mm-hmm. as some other things strewn about the place that you can go have a look. And you also get early access to episodes. So that's what you can find over there. Um, Patreon.com slash the official podcast. Thank you. And we'll see you next episode. Bye, Goodbye. everyone. Thank you. Bye.